Dear Mr. President, dear fellow Toastmasters and guests, do you have a dream? Do you? Yes. Yeah, I think, yes. Everybody has. Even millionaires dream about being billionaires. Do your dream, dreams come true? I believe yes. And uh, what do we do then? Dream up with something else? Imagine yourself having enough money and opportunities to realize all of your dreams. Will you do this? Or will you leave at least one dream just to have a dream? A very rich man was asked uh, what he desired the most. And uh, he said, Ferrari, it costs nothing for me, but if I buy it, what will I dream of then? I agree with him. I have a dream. And I could realize the, this dream several times, but still I haven't. I had all opportunities to do it, but uh, I keep it for, for the moment when I feel it's time for it to come true. And uh, my dream is not something extraordinary, it's simple and realizable. I dream of visiting Italy. Uh, during the last three years I've been to 15 countries, but I keep Italy for the best day when I can say it was my best holidays ever. I'm crazy about this boot-shaped country about, uh, because of certain reasons. And there are not um, a huge amount of massive places, Venice Carnival, amazing beach or astonishing shopping. I have three reasons that made me fall in love with Italy. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene from ancient drudge brick to new muti mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. This book, Romeo and Juliet, gave me a dream. Back to school, I started to dream of seeing Juliet House and its balcony on Capella Street 23, of walking along the street where Romeo saw his beloved of sitting on the bench where they dated. Actually, Shakespeare had never been in Verona and even in Italy, but the air of the city is saturated with the spirit of this love story. Maybe it sounds uh, too sentimental and childish, but uh, Verona is my dream from childhood and I still keep it. Being a student, I became interested in art. Uh, when I opened the Encyclopedia of Art for the first time, I fell in love with the picture. La Primavera by Sandra Botticelli. I can't stop admiring the beauty of this masterpiece, and I can't understand how this genius of art could be forgotten for more than 300 years. Thankfully, English art critics of 19th century rediscovered uh, Botticelli's work. I dream of seeing these elegant figures up close in the Fitzer Art Gallery in Florence. Being a girl and a lover of sweets, I can do almost everything. But this thing, tiramisu cake, this traditional Italian dessert is a real delicious, believe me. I've tried it in Russia, in France, in Greece, even in Egypt and Lebanon. But I dream of tasting this cake in its homeland. Tiramisu consists of three Italian words, tira, me, and su, that means in Italian, help me up. According to the legend, this cake has uh, an arousal effect, like the other has. And um, that's why this cake has this name. These three small parts of my big dream, Verona, Primavera, and Tiramisu. Yes, um, I could turn them into goals, uh, th set up deadlines, um, develop plans, and realize them. 
but is it really worth it? Being effective and achieving your aims is great, but uh, don't you sacrifice something on your way to become a goal-seeking and achieving rocket? I suggest to save uh, a dream part of you and leave some of your dreams untouched, at least for, some, for, for a while, as I do, to enjoy them and to add dimension to your life.